Hi guys, welcome back to your girl Naya's channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Naya Meek, but everybody calls me Naya. So before I get started, make sure to subscribe, like it up, and comment and share this video. Comment, comment on this video and share with this video with your friends. I'm hoping to get 50 subscribers for my birthday, which is October 24th, in three weeks. And we are up to 16 subscribers now. So please just subscribe and tell your friends about my videos or whatever. So like I said before, oh, um, I don't know what happens to my other videos. I don't know if it's because when it uploads, I exit the app accidentally or if the content of the videos are too, like, out. It goes against YouTube videos or whatever. But, um, they don't upload. But this is, if they don't upload, that's fine. It's going to be a fresh start for this channel. Um... So, like I said, Saturdays would be like a DIY watch that's challenging thing, and, and Mondays would be like story time. So, this is going to be a short video, two stories, two short stories on number one, how I lied, my biggest lie to my parents, and number two, excuse me, the first time I stole something, the first and last time I stole something. So, the okay, the story number one, my biggest lie to my parents. Okay, so I was in eighth grade, and I had like three friends. Maybe maybe even more than that, but like my closest friends in class this is a girl named Entriel. So after we would have like an NJS prep, I don't know if like it's like it's kinda like the testing, the standardized testing you do like every uh I think like the end of the year, the middle of the year. I don't even I don't remember because they, they changed a lot of it. So since I graduated. So we would have NJS prep, which is like an after school program and it would like help you pass the NJS or whatever. Like you would get you would have like your teacher would do worksheets with you. Kind of like the SAT, Saturday programs, whatever. Um, So, every day, <laughs> my friend and I and Trey would go to the corner store, leave, leave school ground. We weren't even supposed to leave school grounds, go to the corner store, get a snack, and then come back just in time. Because, like, I guess the school, after school program would start maybe, like, 3.10 because we got dismissed at, like, 3 o'clock. So, they would give us, like, 10 minutes to go to the vending machines, go to the bathroom, and then come straight back to class. But we were not allowed to leave school grounds. So, we went across the street. We were doing this for like a month, like without getting caught. Like we would go through the side door, come in the side door, go straight to class, and not getting caught at all. So once so so this one freaking time, mind you, my dad is like he works in the school system, so he knows like a lot of teachers and a lot of security guards because like he worked in the school system for over twenty years, so he knows a lot of people. So um, it was this one freaking time we got caught, and um, we was outside, and these group of people were like fighting in the backyard or the backyard. In the playground area or whatever, so the security guard was rushing out, rushing out. And mind you, we weren't even a part of the argument. We were just going to the store and coming back to take to do the program or whatever. So, um, a trail was like, oh, come on, let's, let's watch. I'm like, no, we're going to get in trouble. We're going to get in trouble. So we were going back and forth, going back and forth. So the cops were like, the cop, the security guard was like, what are you doing? What are you guys doing out here? Um, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. aren't you supposed to be an after school programmer? She asked, I, I don't remember exactly how it was because it was literally, li literally like seven years ago, like six years ago. So she, um, so he's like, Oh, what's that in the black bag? We're like, We went to the store. You guys know you're supposed to go to the store, you're not supposed to leave school grounds, so you go to the vending machine, that's it. Da, da, da. Like, I'm gonna call your parents, I'm gonna call your parents, so you're not supposed to leave school grounds. I'm like, Damn, I'm gonna get in trouble. So, um, mind you, I was telling my dad every day, um, my, sometimes we would we would be in the after school program like late, like we would be maybe like five minutes late, whatever, because we were just like badass little girls. So um, um, they called my they called both of our parents and when they picked us up, my dad was like my dad was yelling at me. He was like he was like wait till we get home. You know we're supposed to supposed to leave school grounds da, da 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 da. So he beat my ass that day and I never left school. Like I never went to the store again and she never went to the store again. I'm just like. So the vending machine, the vending machine, and like that was it. And um, like I mean, mind you, I told him every single day that like, oh, so how? Like, oh, that's why you were asking for like an extra dollar, cause I would ask him for. I'm like, yeah, but so the vending machine, oh, um, I give you four dollars, and I would literally like use two dollars. Like he would give me, he'll probably give me like five dollars in singles, and I would use like a lot, like two dollars probably in a day. Cause I would get like chips and I would get like juice and I would get candy, you know, whatever. And he, he was like, that's why you, you know, waste your money or whatever. And like, I would tell him like, oh, I gave it to my friend cause she didn't have a snack. I remember doing that. I was like, I would, um, oh, I gave it to my friend cause you know, she didn't have enough money for a snack. So I gave it to my friend. So she's like, now, now that's why, that's what we're doing now. We lying now. So he beat my ass. Then my mother beat my ass and then that was it. 
So that's the story of the time that I told the biggest lies to my parents. I told little small white lies, but like that was the biggest one. And the time that I stole, I don't remember it really because I was like so young. I was like six, but I remember my mom was telling me about it. But I kind of remember it happening. I just don't remember it like the, all the details. So um, there was a mall who's, which is like kind of close to my house, maybe like five minutes away from my house, called uh, Wayne Hills Mall. It's in Wayne, obviously. It's a city in my in my state. And I mean, part of it is still there, but they like, they took away a lot of stores. I used to have like an arcade, used to have a, a movie store, used to have a lot, but I guess like business was running down. So now it's only like Burlington. And like, I think, yeah, I think it's only Burlington, maybe Payless. I'm not sure. So I remember I was maybe like six, six or seven. And it was, it was the movie, there was a time in the movie when the mask came out, the cartoon movie with the dog and the guy with the green mask or whatever. And I wanted it, but mom was like, oh no, no one's gonna, like, oh no, I'm not spending that much money on it. Da, da, da. Mind you, she had brought us, like, all these clothes from Burlington and everything. We went to the arcade, we, she spent a lot of money on, on us that day. Oh, I'm not giving, getting you that money, we already have a lot of movies, da, da, da. we could watch this, we can get it sometime else, or whatever. So, my badass. Oh no, I'm taking out the flower. My badass decides to take the movie off the shelf. Oh, I fucked it up. Take the... Oh, wow. Well, I just fucked up. Okay, whatever. It's irrelevant. I'm sorry. Take the movie off the shelf, walk out the thing, and there was the, like, the little sensor things, and it went off. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? Mind you, my mom was across the store, and um, I think it was Avenue. Looking for stuff for her because she had brought all the shopping for me and my brothers. And my brothers and I were in the in that movie. So just looking at the movies. They were playing like video games or whatever. And I was looking at the movie. So I wanted that movie really bad. And um, I was looking at the thing. And it was like, uh, oh, um, excuse me, little girl. You know, you're about to steal that movie. And I was like, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just going to show it to my mother. Oh, no, you, you're, you're, you're going to steal it. You're going to steal it. Like, you can't do that, little girl. Sweetie, sweetie, come back, come back, come back. Like, my mommy's right there. And then it was like, is this anybody's, like, sibling or whatever? But mind you, my brothers were right there. They was like, oh, no, we don't know her. I was like, those are my brothers, Trey and Janai, Trey and Janai, Trey and Janai. I kept saying their names. So then my mom looked or whatever. And it was like, Trey, Janai, Naya. And, like, they, we all looked. And it's like, what's going on? What's going on? And the security guard was like, um, your daughter was... Uh, not intentionally trying to steal this movie. She said she wants to. Show. I was like, yeah, mom, look, look, look. She's like, you know, sweetie, you're not supposed to do that. There's censors here, so like, she like, I was crying because I, I thought I was going to jail. And he was like, no, sweetie, you're not going to jail. It was an accident. It was an accident. Mom was like, no, she knows better. She like, she was yelling at me. The security guards were yelling at me. the security guards were yelling. At my mom telling her like, don't yell at her, don't yell at her. My brother was like, I don't got to do with this. Then my then my parents then my mother started yelling and my brother's like why didn't you tell her not to to, to put it down why you, why didn't you tell her like why didn't you watch her da 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 da, da, da. you know she knows she's only like six da, 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 da. so I'm I'm still crying still thinking I'm going to jail so then my mother was like put that movie down let's go so um I guess she um she put her she put whatever she had to, whatever she was buying in Avenue down and she went and got whatever she had to get and we left and I was like oh we're not going to jail. She's like, who, my brother was like, who's we? You would have been going to jail. So I would, I was crying even harder, like, still thinking I'm going to jail. My mom was like, no, no, no. So then when she when we got home, I think she, like, probably, like, hit me on my arm, maybe, just to show that she was, like, upset with me. Like, not, she didn't really, like, take off the phone. Like, what? No. But I think she, like, hit me, maybe, and, like, she, she talked to me. And mind you, when I was little, I never liked to get yelled at. I still don't. I never liked to get yelled at. I never liked to get, like, a pow-pow or whatever you guys would call it. Never. And, um, that was basically it. It was kind of funny, um, as I'm thinking about it, like, I really just stole a movie that I could have gotten to jail. But, um, you know, I was a little girl, and what was, what was I going to do? The security guard was really nice. So, that was basically all that I have for you this story time. I thought it was going to be a shorter video, but I was playing this damn bottle. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions, I think I have an idea of the next story time. I know I said I was had, like, a psychic thingy, but I don't really know if I really want to. Because it's not really, like, a lot of evidence to show that, um... I like I'm a psychic or whatever. But um hope you guys enjoy the rest of your week. Um be true, be you, stay true to who you are. And I just love you guys and thanks for all the support you've given me so far. And hopefully we can get to 50 subscribers by October 24th. So please, 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 please make it happen. I'll probably do like a shout out on Instagram or whatever for whoever is my 50th follower, whoever whoever is my 20th, 25th follower, whatever. Um, just please, please, please. 
I'm gonna leave all my social media below and just have a nice week. Bye.